Hello everybody, welcome back to the Vegas Sports Talk and the Rebels have a very big game tomorrow against the North Carolina Tar Heels who are the number 16 team in the nation right now. They are playing in Asheville, North Carolina. The Maui Gym Maui Invitational is in Asheville, North Carolina this year due to the pandemic and this game takes place at 4 p.m. Pacific time on ESPN2. It should be a very good game, we'll get right into it. Season leaders for both teams, points for the Tar Heels, Caleb Love 17 points per game. Rebounds, Garrison Brooks, 11, and Caleb Love, 4 assists per game. For the Rebels, points and rebounds, Bryce Hamilton, 27 points per game, 8 rebounds, and Marvin Coleman with 5 assists. The Tar Heels came off a win against College of Charleston, and the Rebels lost to Montana State at home, which was a very bad loss for this team. This team's a lot more talented than how they played the other night. Team stats, points per game, 79 for the Tar Heels, 60 points allowed. 49 rebounds and 9 turnovers. And this is where the game could get out of the hand for you know the, the rebound difference here. That's a 20 rebound difference. And last year the Rebels really never got out rebounded, but against Montana State that got out rebounded. And they just seem like the smaller team with their five guard lineup. Points per game for the Rebels, 78 points allowed 91. That number needs to go down. The defense needs to get a lot better. The defense on Wednesday was horrific. If it's like that again tomorrow, this game could be an absolute blowout. Rebounds, 29 turnovers, 18. So if they play offense like they did the other day, they're going to get shut out. They're going to score like 55 points because this Tar Heel team will actually play defense against this Rebel team. And the Rebels' defense is to get stronger. They need to stop taking outside, outside shots or too early in the possession. Um, David Jenkins and Mbake Jean need to have a better game. They are looking to bounce back. And the Rebels need to build a lead early. That's one of the keys of the game for the running Rebels. So keys of the game for the Tar Heels, they need to dominate inside and, and rebound, rebound, rebound. Limit Bryce Hamilton and limit turnovers to under 10. If they can do that, they'll be in good shape because they'll be giving the Rebels less uh, possessions. For the Rebels, they need to get the ball inside often. The other night, they were not doing that. They need to get the ball in Bakke Jong, pass it in the elbow, pass it high post, figure something out, get him involved, get him involved down low, pass it out, get easy layups, make easy jumpers. Don't always settle for threes. They need to limit their turnovers under 10, and they need to limit Love and Garrison Brooks, and Brooks could be a real factor in this game. I do not know if Mbappe Jean will be able to guard him. That's one thing I am a little bit nervous about. Brooks and Mbappe Jean, they're not the same player. And if Mbappe Jean can stay out of foul trouble, it'll be a lot better for the Rebels. Caleb Grill needs to step it up. Nick Blake, he played really good the other day. And the Rebels' defense just needs to get better. Point blank and period. The winner of this game will play the winner of Alabama versus Stanford. The loser will play loser of Alabama Stanford on Tuesday. There probably will not be a review video because I'll be at work tomorrow, which will be sad, but there will be a preview video for, for Tuesday's game and probably a preview and review video for Wednesday's game. And since I have you guys right here, I'm selling these Rebel bracelets. Two for five or one for three. And the Rebel colors, if you want, just message me on Instagram and I'll send one to you. So thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. Who do you think wins the game tomorrow? Leave your comments down below and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.